let's look at a rectangle because that's what that's what we already know. So this is a rectangle, okay, and it has a base and it has a height, okay. And you already know that the area of this um, rectangle uh, is equal to the base times the height. This little symbol here means just means it's a rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is base times height. You already know this, okay. Now let's draw this rectangle one more time. Okay, we're going to draw this rectangle one more time, and now we're going to uh, split it up. We're going to draw a diagonal here. Okay, we're going to draw a diagonal right there. And again, you know that this is the base, and you know that this is the height. Now look what we've done. We've formed two triangles by just by drawing a diagonal, right? We've, we've formed two triangles. So if I wanted to actually calculate the area of this triangle right here, just this one, okay? And I'll do that by just just putting a, you know, some, some shading here. Because that's what we're trying to do in this section, by the way. Just calculate the area of a triangle. So here we've formed a triangle. Uh, okay, then how would we do it? Well, we know that the total area of this entire thing is just based on type because this is just a rectangle. So then the area of this triangle must be one half times the base times the height, right? Because this is the area of the whole thing and that's base times height. So if we're interested in just this triangle, which is half the rectangle, then the, for, the area of this must be one half times the base times the height. And that, that is the formula for the um, area of a, of a rectangle. So the area, I'm sorry, of a triangle. So the area of a triangle is by definition one half times the base times the height. Okay, and uh, just in general, I'll draw just a general rectangle for you here. Any old rectangle, doesn't matter. The base is this dimension along the bottom, okay? And the height, the height is the vertical height right here. The height is not this leg, the height is not this leg, the height is nothing other than the actual vertical height of the thing. Same as we defined it here, height. And we just use this to derive it, but this formula is applicable to all triangles. You have a base here and a height here, one half base times height. It gives you the area inside here, the area of that triangle. Okay, the area of that triangle. So let's go ahead and, and do a few things here. Okay, let's say I had a triangle that looks something like this. Okay. Uh, let's say it's five inches this direction. Okay. And let's say that the way they've drawn the figure is they have, they usually put a dotted line and they say this is six inches like this. That's usually how it's done. Okay. And so the question is, what's the area? So the area is equal to one half times the base times the height. So it's one half. The base is five inches. The height is the vertical height of the triangle, which is six inches. So the area is equal to one half times five times six is 30. And inches times inches is inches squared. So the area is going to be equal to one half of 30 is 15 inches squared. So that's the answer. So really all you have to do is just do this multiplication. It's one half times base times height. Base is here, height is here. Boom, you get the, the answer. Okay, now what if you had a triangle, you know, a totally different shape triangle, something that looked like this, okay? And they gave, they told you that this was seven centimeters on your test. And, uh, you know, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll draw in your homework, what they'll do a lot of times is they'll draw that dotted line like this, and they'll tell you that this is four centimeters, okay? So the question is, what is the area of this triangle? And so the area is equal to one half times the base times the height, which is one half of the base is seven, and the height is four. And in this case, I'm not writing the units through because you don't have to. I'm just doing this a lot of times up here to show you where the, the, uh, the square inches or the square centimeters comes from. So the area in this case is uh, going to be equal to 1 half. 7 times 4 is 28. 
And so the answer is just simply going to be 1 half of 28 is 14. So the area is equal to 14. And the unit here, centimeters times centimeters, is giving us centimeters squared. That's the area of that triangle. So you see it's the same formula. It's just this, you just make sure you have to make sure you're using that vertical height and not using the slant height because that is not what you're supposed to use. So if in the problem they give you this number, don't don't think you automatically have to use it. You're only interested in the height of the triangle. Okay. Uh, if you had an upside down triangle like this, okay. Um, let's say this is well, let's draw it differently. Let's say this is uh, 10 inches, okay, and let's say they draw a little dotted line for you and say this is um, 5 inches. You know, this isn't really drawn to scale, but let's say it's 5 inches. Then in this case, the uh, area is 1 half times the base times the height, okay, um, which is 1 half. Now, what's the base in this in this guy? The base is going to be this here. And if you rotate the triangle all the way around, you'll see this is sort of the bottom. So you'll have 10 inches here. And the height is the vertical height here, which is 5 inches. Just like this. Okay. So the area is equal to 1 half 10 times 5. Uh, and you can multiply this as many ways as you want, but I usually keep the 1 half out and multiply the inside. So 10 times 5 is 50. And this is going to give you inches squared. Inches times inches is inches squared. And don't forget, you got to multiply by your one half. Okay. And so that's just going to be 25 because 50 times a half is 25 inches squared. Okay. So you see, we're, we're, we're moving at a pretty good clip and it's really not that, you know, that different. Okay. Okay, now let's do a little bit different kind of problem. Let's say you're given that the area is uh, 77 centimeters squared. That's what you're given, okay? And you're also given this picture of a, of a uh, triangle like this. And this is 11 centimeters on the bottom. And they usually draw a dotted line and you'll just label this H. That's the height of the triangle. So what would you, how would you calculate the height of this triangle, given that the area is this? Well, you have to know, just like we've been talking about, that the area is 1 half times base times the height. Okay, and the base is this 11 centimeters. So 1 half times 11. Okay. And uh, times, times uh, height, which is h. And the area is what was given to us, so we'll just rewrite it and we'll say 77 is equal to 1 half times 11 times h. Okay? And then what we will say is we will go ahead and we will start solving for h here. Okay? Now the easiest way to solve for h in this case is just to divide by 11 first. And so what you'll have is 1 half h is equal to and 77 divided by 11 is 7. Now what we did in this step is I didn't really totally solve for h. I just sort of left the 1 half alone and I left the h alone. I just divide both sides by 11. So I get rid of the 11 here. 77 divided by 11 gives me the 7. And the reason I did that is because now I'm going to finally solve for h. How, do I, how would I do this? 1 half times h. I can just multiply both sides by 2. That's how I'm going to solve for this because 1 half times 2 is going to give me 1. That's going to make that disappear. And 7 times 2 is going to give me 14. And we're talking about centimeters here. So the answer is going to be 14 centimeters. Okay. Now, if you're using a calculator, I mean, you could just simply do this, you know, the way you would usually do it. 11 divided by 2, you get a number, and you just divide that into both sides, and you'll get the answer. That's fine. But when you don't have a calculator, and I don't have a calculator up here, you know, you're looking for ways in which you can kind of keep it all nice until the very end so that you don't have to deal with, with a bunch of um, decimals. So I, I kept this one half um, alone for a while because I knew in the end I was going to multiply by two. We'll do one more final problem. Okay, and we'll have this triangle like this. Okay, and we'll say this is the base B. And we'll say this is the height here. And we're going to call that six inches. And given that the area is equal to nine square inches, then uh, what is the base? That's what we're trying to find. What is the base? Okay. So the area is equal to one half times the base times the height. 
The area is 9, so that's 9 square inches is equal to 1 half times the base, which is what we're trying to find. And the height is given to us as 6 inches. Okay, so I have 9 square inches. Now this time I can go ahead and just do the multiplication because I know that 1 half times 6 is going to give me um, 3. You've got to keep your units, which is inches, okay, and times B. So B is going to be 9 inches squared over 3 inches. And we'll do the same thing that we did before. 9 divided by 3 gives me 3. Inches squared divided by inches is going to give me inches. Because when you're doing this here, when you have inches divided by inches, you can just cancel that exponent with that one here. Uh, just, just as if it were x squared over x, just the same way you do in algebra, and you're left with inches. So the answer here is going to be 3 inches. So that was a little short section on the area of triangles. And you can see it all comes down to the area of a rectangle so far. You can use that to really define your area of a parallelogram and also the area of a, of a triangle, one-half base times height. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.